The Volkswagen ID Buzz is finally coming. Deliveries for this retro electric van inspired by the Volkswagen Type 2 minibus are starting in some markets this year. If you've been waiting to spec out your own Volkswagen ID Buzz, I'll show you how in this video. Now, the ID Buzz started life as a concept car back in the early 2010s with the Bowie. In 2017, Volkswagen revealed the ID Buzz in name for the first time and gave us a glimpse of what the final product would look like. In the past couple years, we've seen different testbed cars and prototypes rolling around in camouflage. Volkswagen started ramping up production of the ID Buzz in their German factories this year. If you've been waiting to configure your own ID Buzz, you can do that on the German Volkswagen website now. To find the ID Buzz configurator, you're going to want to go to Volkswagen.de, hit the hamburger menu, click Models and Configurator, then Configurator again. Then in that screen where you see all of the different Volkswagen options for the German website, you're going to scroll down until you find their new ID Buzz. You'll click on that and then hit configure again. Or if you're feeling lazy, you could just click this card that I'll put somewhere here with the link. But do stick around for some helpful tips on how to navigate this site and what some of these options mean for the Volkswagen ID Buzz. So obviously this website's in German because it's a German website. If you speak German, that's great. If not, you can use Google's auto translate feature in Chrome to help you figure out what's going on on the page. Just make sure you switch it back to German before you try to click through to any other pages because for some reason that tends to break the code on the website if you have different objects translated. So just switch it back to German when you're going through the rest of the site. This first page in the configurator shows you the different battery and motor options available right now. For Germany there's just one, a single 77 kilowatt hour battery with one rear motor good for 150 kilowatts or 204 metric horsepower, 201 imperial horsepower. On the ID Buzz website, it'll show you a starting price of 64,000 euros, but that includes value added taxes for Germany. So when you take that out, the price before taxes is 54,000 euros. With a direct conversion to USD right now, that's around $55,000. Now this exact body and motor configuration available on the German website is probably not coming to the United States. Volkswagen have said that the US market's going to get a longer wheelbase model and a larger battery pack and will most definitely see all-wheel drive as an option. So take this with a grain of salt on this configurator website. Moving on to the next category, colors. There's four categories of color options. There's a single flat color, there are two-tone color schemes, there's flat metallic color schemes, and pearlescent color schemes. I'm partial to the two-tone color schemes here. This lime green is the color that Volkswagen's been showing off the most in their auto shows, press releases, whatnot. But I'm personally partial to this starlight blue metallic. There's also energetic orange and bay leaf green. Those same colors you find in the two-tone options are also down in the flat metallic options with the addition of a silver flat metallic paint coat. If you want black or if you want a pearl effect paint, there's only one option down here. I'm going to pick my favorite two-tone color scheme, the white and starlight blue metallic, and then we'll move on. The next category is interior. Depending on your paint choices, you'll have one standard interior color option, which is black and then two white color options that have trim pieces matching the exterior color of your car. With the white color interior options, keep in mind that those do add to the cost as they include some different premium interior packages. With the white colored seats, you have a plain white seat, and then you also have a seat with colored matched seats and back. The next step in the configurator is to pick your different wheels. There are four different wheel size options, 18s, 19s, 20s, and a 21. The 21 inch wheels are obviously the most expensive option. Those 18 inch wheels that you see there are actually steelies with a hubcap, a plastic hubcap. I'm personally partial to the 20 inch Stockton wheels. Those kind of look like the old school uh, wheels with hubcaps that you would see on the Type 2 buses. And the final page where you pick your options is special options and equipment. There's a lot going on in this page and you really only have to pay attention to a couple of different all-inclusive packages or bundled packages to get the best value out of this page. At the top you'll see recommendations for you and within recommendations for you there are three main packages to pick from for the ID Buzz. 
The first package is the 1400 euro design package. This includes Volkswagen's IQ lighting, which has matrix LED headlamps, and it adds some illuminated bars across the grill of the ID Buzz as well as the tail lamps. For 1200 euros, they offer an entertainment package which adds some features to the touchscreen infotainment such as navigation. And finally, the last package under recommendations for you is a 2900 euro interior design package. This includes an ambient lighting and some upgrades to the seats such as seat cool fabric which is supposed to be more stain resistant and wear resistant. It also includes lumbar support for the seats, heated seats, memory seats, all that good stuff that you'd want in the interior of your family car. If you're looking to add a bunch of techie safety and driver's assistance features you're going to want to pick the assistance plus package. That includes adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, some parking features, and a 360 view camera. If you pick the standard assistance package, that just really includes adaptive cruise control and none of those other goodies. The rest of the sections that you see on this page are a little bit redundant with all the different packages that we went through earlier. If you wanted to pick different features a la carte and keep the cost down and avoid those different packages, you could do so with the rest of these sections. But for American buyers, we probably won't get that option. We'll probably have a few trim levels laid out with these different packages included. I'm done picking all my favorite options for my ID Buzz. The website gives me this little final screen showing the total price and another 3D look at the exterior and interior of the ID Buzz that I configured. So this total price with what I spec'd out is 62,000 euros. Seems pretty expensive. Direct conversion to USD today gives us $63,000. That seems like a lot of money for a minivan, but when you look at the cost of a new Toyota Sienna or Honda Odyssey, you'll find that the price gets up there pretty quickly when you pick all of the options that you'd want, like I did here for the ID Buzz. But again, Americans shouldn't put too much stock into the prices that they see here in the German configurator, because we'll be getting a completely different model in terms of the longer wheelbase and different battery pack when it first hits our shores, hopefully in 2024. I'm personally really excited to see the Volkswagen ID Buzz driving around American streets as soon as possible. It would be a nice breath of fresh air to see this fun family car instead of one of those SUVs that have become synonymous with American roads. Let me know down in the comments if you consider the Volkswagen ID Buzz for your next family car. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you next time.